Okay, so quick review. I am on day seven of the carnivore diet. Um, kind of started this on a whim, I guess. My mom and stepdad brought it up that they were going to start doing it. And to me, it just kind of sounded like an easier diet to accomplish than the standard cut out X percent of this or only eat salads and like a palm size of this or cut out these but leave this or you can do this but not this. And I was just like, that's just so much to keep track of. So um, this sounded easier to me, um, which is weird because I'm not much of a diet person because I don't like... I don't like diets. It's it's uh, diets are temporary. They're as long as you do them. Um, but I'm hoping that this turns into a lifestyle change as well as just a healthier way of living. Um, and I like meat, so <laughs> I was like, sure. Um, I would say that the few things that concerned me the most is I'm not the best at cooking my own food. I am my own person, so I'm cooking for one. So it's difficult already to have to do that. Um, but, uh, so in the last week I've cut out everything but meats, um, no salads, no like sauces or marinades for the meats or anything like that. Um, I'd say the biggest thing that I would have, the biggest thing that I've changed is I used to have coffee. Um, and I don't get coffee because coffee has caffeine. I don't get coffee because I love the taste of coffee. I would get coffee because I would love doing it with white chocolate and milk. <laughs> um, and so that was probably the biggest adjustment is to now not be able to drive through a coffee stand and say like, my white chocolate brevet, please, you know. Um, and so it's been an adjustment. I have been doing English breakfast tea, um, which I actually kind of like, which is weird. I didn't think I would like it without sugar and cream, which in this first week I have been doing some heavy whipping cream. Um, but I, I don't like the tea with that. So I just do a couple of my espresso shots with some heavy whipping cream and call that good. I'll, I, I'll make it kind of like an Americano style. So I'm still getting the coffee, but i it's not the same and I also don't like need the caffeine so I might cut that out entirely uh, coming up sometime soon and I still have the tea and I like the flavor of the tea plain so anyway that was probably my biggest adjustment um, to me the making of the food and the meal prepping is easier than how it used to be because I never really was good at meal prepping or making foods, especially when it came to vegetables and sides. And I would get tired of having salads, but then the vegetables I would have in the fridge would go bad because I'm just one person and I can't eat it all in X amount of time. And so it just, this has been fairly easy the last week to have meat and prep. Um, I need to learn, one of the big things I need to learn is to shop better. I think my first week I spent way too much money on not enough meat. And so I am learning to look for sales and to have stuff stocked up in the freezer so that you're only buying stuff once to have it stocked up for the couple of weeks. And so that's um, something that I'm working on being better at. Um, and then I would just say messing around with spices and how to cook certain things. Um, I don't think I've ever cooked my own roast and so learning how to do that and making sure I have the right spices and the right time frame set for how to cook them and just all the specifics. So that's another thing I've had to learn. Um, symptom wise, I would think I was expecting a lot more, um, cravings. I, I would eat out quite a bit, um, whether it was McDonald's or, Sonic or whatever, whatever. I mean, I would just go and drive through somewhere because I either didn't go grocery shopping or I was too tired or I didn't have enough time to make food or what I was made did not sound good or maybe it didn't even taste good and I would just go out and do a drive through. Um, and then the next thing I would say, it just... I forgot where I was going with that. Um, symptoms. I, I thought I would end up craving a lot more things. Like I love the Sonic milkshakes. They're so good. Um, Dairy Queen and their blizzards, you know, the, I had a lot of sugar, especially with my coffee, the white chocolate powder, like that stuff's not low on sugars. <laughs> and I haven't had those cravings 
granted now I'm on day seven. So, oh, and the other thing is, is that I've kind of messed up this first week because I would get breakfast sausages. Um, and after going back to the store to buy them again, I was more careful and I read the labels and they have sugars. So I guess this isn't really week one, but I'm still going to count it because I cut out everything else. So the breakfast sausages, sausages that I bought probably weren't good for me, <laughs> but I did much better on everything else. Um, cause I was very specific with what I was buying. So maybe I'll experience more cravings this upcoming week because I did not buy the sausages because they have sugar. So this upcoming week probably will be the first official completely strict carnivore diet, but, um, I did still experience some things this week. I definitely had a mixture of diarrhea and then constipation. It was pretty weird. My digestive tract wasn't too happy with me this week, but it wasn't bad because I've had like IBS symptoms before this happened. Um, and I've had those for quite a while. So I was kind of used to what was going on this week, except it was happening less. So before this last week, if I was experiencing IBS symptoms, I would be in the bathroom frequently, in a lot of pain, not happy. Whereas this week it was just like, I could feel it for a couple minutes and then I was just like, it would go away or I would go to the bathroom for short periods of times and it would go away fairly quickly. So that was one of the things I experienced. Um, I'm not exhausted. I do feel really good energy wise. Um, I feel like I'm sleeping better throughout the night. Usually every night I have to get up and go to the bathroom or I just wake up and roll over and I just can't fall back asleep, but I've been sleeping pretty well this last week. Um, I'm not focused on weight or inches quite at the moment. I'm just focused on getting into new habits and making sure I'm eating properly and doing all the right things. Um, well, trying to do all the right things. So that's been this first week. I did experience my first massive muscle cramp because I have not been taking potassium or magnesium this last week. I've ordered it and it's in the mail. It got delivered yesterday. So day six, I started taking it. But yesterday morning on day six, I woke up and I stretched and my calf muscle like sucked up or something. I don't really know. And it was the worst Charlie horse, I think. Probably one of the top two worst Charlie horses I've ever experienced. So it's still in a little bit of pain, but I'm on taking my potassium along with my magnesium, magnesium. Um, and so I'm, I'm getting better. And that's, uh, probably one of the top two things I would note is the keeping up on those electrolytes. So I'm in the works for that, improving that that'll improve this next week as well. Um, yeah, so I think the things I need to improve on are actually reading the label at the store and making sure you're actually just getting what you're getting rather than natural flavors or sugars or anything like that, like I did with the breakfast sausage. Keeping up on potassium and magnesium, the electrolytes, and then salt as well. Um, and then just cooking, getting it all done. I would say my saving grace has been my air fryer. <laughs> It's, I've been cooking everything in there. I'd say my top favorite foods right now are doing my steak bites and then also just doing, which I never in my life thought I would say this, but pork rinds. I, or not pork rinds, sorry, pork chops. I'll be getting pork rinds because that's a good like snack that I haven't craved chips yet, but if I need like a crunch, that's kind of what I'm going for. But the pork chops, I've never liked pork chops. I've never liked any of it. It's always dry and salty and just gross. So I've never liked it. But once I started doing this, I was like, I need to try to figure out how to like it. And even if I don't like it, I need to have it every once in a while because beef and pork are going to be the best for me. Chicken's a little lower because it's not as rich in stuff. <laughs> so pork chops, I started cooking um, with just very minimal spices and I've actually really enjoyed eating it. So steak bites, um, and pork. Um, and then I'm just, I'm excited to keep experimenting to figure out what else I can do, what, what I can incorporate in and other meats that I can cook up and how I can cook them, playing with spices, um, to add flavor. But I'm also needing to be very careful with spices because 
as we know, most spices, not most, but a lot have like natural flavors and sugars. So staying away from all of that has been um, a process as well. So that'll come with time, getting used to it and learning it. Um, I would say the things I'm most excited about to see change in my life and health would be weight loss, inch loss, whatever, however it happens to work. Um, and just overall health. I've had the last year just... I've gone to the doctor a lot to try to figure out if I have like Hashimoto's thyroiditis or if I have um, any kind of, we came down to it just being IBS. And so I'm hoping that everything like that goes away. Um, in one of the videos I listened to in the very beginning of starting this, um, the guy started talking about how his skin tags went away. That's not a huge thing for me, but it would be very interesting to see if skin tags go away. Um, skin health, gut health, my stomach, cravings, eating better. I'm just, I'm excited about it all. So anyway, this is day seven on the carnivore diet and I will probably be back next week with more updates. So stay tuned.